Talking Miami football with uh, Cam Underwood from State of the U, and they have already dived in on a spring camp, and I uh, caught one of the headlines and uh, skimmed through the article, motion, motion, motion. Obviously, we're talking about the offense and uh, the progression of the offense, the uh, taking it from archaic into the 2019 range, and that being the the cry of Hurricanes fans, and, and we shall see. So, so was that, I didn't get a chance, I skimmed the article, was that based on what we expect to see this season, or just in terms of watching two days of practice, that this is already something that's manifested itself on the practice field? Both, and all of the above. I mean, okay. Miami is uh, was notorious for years of not motioning guys. Like you just, you break the huddle, you line up and you go execute. And hopefully you're able to win your one-on-one -on -one battles. Um, for a time, you know, Miami had better players than everybody and like a decent kind of scheme, even when that was going through the uh, Randy Shannon era with those multiple offensive coordinators and even an Al Golden era. So the yards per play uh, was pretty decent and it got pretty bad, obviously with Mark Rick, because it was kind of sedentary and it was, it was very predictable uh, as well. Um, so, yeah, the, just seeing that those little things are going to be integrated into this offense now um, is a big thing, you know, because guys, you know, even, you, I mean, and you take it for granted when it's not your team or when, you know, when you see a guy motion or anything, like, oh, okay, cool, whatever. But like that stresses defenses, you know, like it, if you're, if you're running man, that shows this, if you're running zone, you alter things. And, you know, the way that, you know, defenses do assignments on receivers and things like that, like things, Moving guys around changes things or changes the, the the play. It really does. And, yeah, you know, like Dan Enos has talked about being multiple. He's talked about motion. I mean, well, I, I talked about this a couple of weeks ago. Mike Harley put up a screenshot on Snapchat of uh, the playbook, and there's this chapter that says motions. I said, what? Because we haven't seen that in years. You know, so, yeah, it's crazy. Um, well, not, it's crazy that we didn't see it, but, I mean, it's a welcomed addition uh, just to even have any kind of movement, any kind of momentum by moving guys around the formation uh, to try to take advantage of defenses. So, yeah, it was a thing that we saw from the meeting times when guys put it up on Snapchat, just the not the motions themselves, but the cover of the motions chapter of the playbook. So we know that there are motions. And for everybody who's been there these first two days, they have seen motions, which means, OK, we've we've taught that in the classroom. We're doing that on the field. And now we're going to carry that over to the season. And again, that is just a little piece of the multiplicity of this offense moving forward. But again, like you were talking about, from having an archaic kind of offense, a very sedentary, very predictable offense, even the little details, I mean, because all the details matter, but details such as this are big steps forward. Yet uh, Kim Underwood on the line, and uh, this is a special Wednesday night uh, during the week uh, that we can get Cam's insight into Miami football, and the boys are on the field. So, no, it's not going to be the most scintillating um, uh, spectacle of football as we watch the spring games here in about a month from now, but it's good just to see the guys in pads and running around and something, getting some kind of football fix in uh, of actual action on the field. Slim Shady Canes, we appreciate your contribution as well as DeAndre. Thank you so much. Slim Shady is asking, question for Cam here. Do you know about the reports of Tate being very inaccurate so far? He did, uh, uh, Cam did allude to his throwing motion and, and, and the way the ball comes out of his hands, but uh, again, asking about the inaccuracy, which isn't necessarily the same. Right. Inaccuracy. That was at the top of yesterday of practice. Number one, uh, by all reports, you know, like, you know, new place, new building, new team, new uh, teammates that you're throwing to. Yeah. Tate Martell was off a little bit, uh, but he settled down as the day went on. And by all reports today, he was pretty good with his accuracy. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there there were those reports that at the beginning of practice, number one, it wasn't a perfectly clean day for Tate Martell. But again, it's a spring. You progress. He progressed through the day of practice number one, and he did well on day number two. So, I, I mean, that did happen. I'm not going to say that he wasn't off for a time, but I don't necessarily think it's anything that should give anybody pause or concern at this point.